Imagine a world where you can basically find any type of website online, get the URL, put it into some type of AI, and the AI basically generates the design of that website for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you just that. You can find any website you want, and AI will basically redesign it for you, one-to-one. -one. And before we get started, my name is Lucas, and apart from this YouTube content that I'm basically doing, uh, I have a Discord community where a bunch of different startup founders, uh, designers, developers hanging out every single weekday. We, we do like live calls, so you guys are more than invited to join that if you're interested. In these live calls, we basically go through different topics like personal challenges or struggles to looking at different tools, helping you guys out with, with your projects. We sometimes do even like design critiques or design challenges. So if that sounds interesting for you guys, link is down in the description below. And now I found this tool called orchids.app, right? Someone from my community, Mikey, he basically um, showed this to us in our live call today. And while exploring this app, um, I basically see that it has like this normal, you know, prompting field where you can chat and tell the AI what to build. But we also have this clone button over here. So we can click on clone and it says, all right, clone a website based on a specific URL, right? Clone this website URL. And it gives us cursor.com, figma.com, Y Combinator. And what we want to do is we want to actually get a website. Let's get, for example, Zapier, zapier.com and paste it over here and click on send. And we basically get this, right? We get, you know, this banner that's not really completely filled out to the, to the edge of the screen. We get our nav bar, which has the same type of problem. We do get the same types of colors, which looks good. Um, we get the same type of context in terms of copy, right? Which is also great. It doesn't really copy the, the um, specific illustration here. We get the same types of buttons, but not really. So it does actually clone the website in a way, but um, you know, it's missing. It's not really copying the exact design, right? So um, it does a good job with giving us a very, very basic version, but this version looks extremely, you know, AI generated in a way. It does bring in this illustration sometimes, so, so I don't really understand why it doesn't really bring it in the top. But um, yeah, this is just a quick example of how it looks like when bringing it in from, from Zapier. And if I open this chat over here, you can see that it just, it basically scrapes all the assets of this page and kind of, kind of understands how the page is being built in terms of a structure. And I actually wanna go back and I wanna create a new project and basically clone one of these websites just to see how, how this performs, right? Let's clone, for, clone, uh, clone, for example, cursor.com, click on send, and we get a similar type of result, um, like exactly like the zapier.com one. Um, we, we don't really see sections being filled to the width, right? Um, you can see that we have the nav bar here. We have the hero section over here. We have this tab, 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 um, basically, you know, looking like this squared in the middle. We do get some nice things like these cards, for example, with their specific icon, but it also seems like the icon is kind of cut out, like cropped out or something like that. And if we go to cursor.com, you can kind of see the difference, right? If we go down over here, this is how this icon set is supposed to look like. The testimonials have to look like this with a specific type of gradient on the side. Right now it's looking like this. And at the very bottom, we get this tri cursor now downloaded for free with the cursor logo over here with a nice footer at the very, very bottom. And then over here, we basically get the same type of context in terms of copy, but a completely different, very you know simple type of design. Now I know some of these designs are very complicated, like for example, with the uh, gradient, um, with some of these custom icons, and even in terms of responsiveness, making some of the sections fill the width of the entire screen. Anyways, apart from orchids.app, there are other ways of actually finding a website and duplicating the design with AI. We can find like a specific, you know, page inside of the zapier.com website, like for example, workflows. And what we can start doing here is we can take a full page screenshot with this go full page Chrome extension. And inside of something like ChatGPT, we can add this photo 
and we can ask ChatGPT to describe the structure of this specific website. So we get a header, we get the hero section, client's logo section, AI workflow demo section. So this all looks pretty good. I'm gonna say, please add all of this into one single prompt. Please include the layout, directions, positions of the certain sections, right? So we have design a modern high converting landing page inspired by Zapier's AI workflows page. Use a clean and professional aesthetic with plenty of white space, soft shadows, and a minimal rounded UI elements, okay? So we have our header, and you can see that left is the logo, center is the navigation links, right are these different buttons in these different colors. Same with the hero section, same with the logo section, and same with all of the rest of the other sections. So I'm just gonna basically copy all of this. Or actually, before we copy all of this and bring it into our next design tool, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into Zapier, and Zapier has a specific design system, right? We have these orange colors, we have this specific font, we have these colors as well. We have this background color that looks very nice. So it has a specific design language based on a specific CSS file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and click on inspect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the network. We're gonna refresh this and we're gonna look for our styles.css. Double click that. And basically we have this large set of different CSS settings, styling options, and I'm gonna paste this and say this, or actually let's go into Claude. And in Claude, let's say this is the current CSS of a landing page. So I'm gonna say this is the current CSS of a, a, CSS of a landing page, a text, attached text. Um, let's say that that starts with dot atoms. Please make it in the following format. So I basically added this new format from TweakCN, which is a great place to actually, you know, generate your own types of design systems. For example, you can browse through a few ones that are already built, or you can basically, you know, generate your own design systems. And over here in the code section, you can basically copy this root code and ask Claude to basically, you know, change this text format, this, this styling format into something more like this. So we're gonna submit that. Anyways, the reason why I did this is because we can copy this text that we just generated with Claude and go into our design tool, which is called Magic Path. And inside of Magic Path, we can open this design system and import a specific design system. Let's say this one, click on paste, and we basically get a design system very similar to the one that we got from Zapier. So we can basically use this and implement it in our prompt or together with our prompt. So what we have to do here is basically just double click anywhere. Let's just double click over here and go back into ChatGPT, get this whole prompt that ChatGPT gave us, paste it into Magic Path and select this Zapier design system that we just uh, came up with and click on submit. And already in the first try, we get something much more similar to the actual website than with that other tool that I just showed you. Only thing is that we need to make sure that these sections actually look like the ones in the live website. So what we can do is we can actually zoom out a bit and I'm going to basically take screenshots of these sections and make sure that, so what we're gonna do is we're going to actually highlight this and we're gonna select this image over here. We're gonna select our research, recents, choose this one, and then we're gonna ask it to basically rebuild the hero section to look like this. And boom, we get the same type of structure. As you can see, we have zaps, make your flow. We have this text, we have these two buttons. In the Zapier website, this font seems a little bit thinner than the one that this one provided us with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get this H1 and we can set the font weight to be a little bit thinner, right? So this is exactly kind of what we want. This is also a video, so what I can do is I can copy this video address and replace it with this section that Magic Path basically created us. So we could say here, um, replace this section with the following video. Paste, click on generate, and if we go back to 100% zoom, it pretty much looks very similar. You'd also have to kind of change the background image of this, but you can do it in the same type of way, but just copy the image URL of here, the image address, 
You can, for example, find the Zapier logo somewhere like this, right? Copy the image address, and you can actually replace that inside of Magic Path by going over here. And let's say, replace this with the following logo, right? Click on that, click on generate, and we get our logo like this. And obviously you can just grab it and adjust the sizing over here. You can make it, you know, a little bit wider, like so. Click on save, and boom, after a few clicks, we get our hero section looking like this. If we compare it to Zapier, it's pretty much almost there. Um, we, we would have to kind of, you know, edit a few things from the text, probably add a little bit more spacing on the top and bottom, I believe. Maybe the top, we have to add a little bit more spacing. Now what we can do now is we can go into a new section like this, which is actually underneath the, um, the testimonials over here, right? So we get this. We can actually delete those numbers that I saw from earlier. So what we can do is we can just go like this, delete these, this span, this row, click on delete element, click on save. And it doesn't look so different. I guess this part does look different, but this over here kind of looks like the one in the existing website. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to take a screenshot and ask the Magic Path AI to basically redesign this section to look more like this screenshot. So it's finished generating. Let's scroll down to that specific section and we get real AI workflows and real results that you can get today, right? We get these two little suggestions over here, or three, sorry. And then we get this description text. So let's just compare it. Okay, perfect. It's, it's basically exactly what we have. And then what we have is we have again, a type of video mockup player over here and get started right now with our library of templates, explore all templates. Great. So again, what we can do here is just select this whole div, right? We can actually delete this one, click on save and then select this one and replace it with the video. And boom, we get the video looking like this, very beautiful, right underneath these selectors. We have this text down here. We can eventually move this text up if we wanted to. Anyways, guys, that's a quick little rundown on how to actually bring an existing website take a screenshot of it, describe it, bring it into Magic Path, which is a phenomenal AI design tool, and actually build it out, you know, build out the design there. As you can see, it's not a one-shot design. It does do a much better job than Orchids, for example, but it does take time to actually take screenshots of each section, bring it back into Magic Path, and, you know, visually explain to the AI what you want to build. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.